Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben and I'm from CMS and in today's video we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be looking at one of our reconditioned chairs that we have at the office for sale. Um, I'll be going through an overview of the model itself and then going into the individual items and actuators that the chair has and going into a little bit more detail and showing you what it can do um, both indoors and outdoors. The chair that we'll be looking at today is the Invercare TDX SP2 NB. Due to the nature and the options selected on the seating system, we're going to separate the two. I'm going to talk about the drive base first and then the seating, systems, uh, seating system and the functions uh, second. Most mid-wheel drive power chairs have articulating axles, which means that the cast wheels move independently to one another. How the Invercare TDX does it is that the, uh, the rear caster wheels are completely separated with suspension rings, but the uh, front casters are actually linked via an arm that are attached to the main drive wheel. How this is beneficial is that when you are going up an incline or a, any type of gradient, slope or ramp, etc., what happens is that as the front caster wheels are raised, the arm actually pushes the main drive wheel down. So you're still getting that really good traction, whereas other mid-wheel drive power chairs, you might get a slipping sensation or that traction may be lost if the gradient or slope is too high. As standard, this chair comes with 50 amp hour gel batteries. On average, that should give you between 10 and 15 miles of range. There are plenty of variables that can affect that. Um, things such as speed, uh, terrain, inclines, and also the amount of actuators in use. Other standard features this chair comes with is the black front and rear caster wheels, the black uh, block tires, and also the brushless maintenance-free motors. The the chair as standard doesn't come with lights and this as you can see hasn't actually got them included but what we do have is we have they class it as a reflector kit so any chair that goes over uh, four miles per hour will need the lights and indicators this is only a four mile per hour power chair so it just has the reflector kit on it finally this chair is also crash tested uh, you have two tie down points at the front and two at the rear and they're just depicted with the yellow hook on the chassis again on the front and the rear just by the by the hoops themselves beginning with the actuators then or powered functions by powered functions i mean uh, tilt lift backrest recline elevation leg rests this chair has a 30 degree a central gravity powered tilt which is fantastic for pressure distribution and postural management. It also comes with um, individual elevating leg rests. Now, what's nice about these particular leg rests is not only are they individually elevating, so if you needed uh, one at a particular angle to the other, they also extend as well as elevate. And that's extremely important because as we do go into a full elevation, if they weren't to extend as well, our, bio, our biomechanics, so how our body reacts to that extension, our knees, if they didn't extend, sorry, our knees would be up in the air. So it's important that when they do elevate, they also extend to keep our, our upper leg and our lower leg nice and flat on the supported cushion surface. So moving on to the seating system, and by seating system I mean anything above the drive base. It's important to note that the options available on the chair are vast, therefore what you see on this particular TDX won't typically be seen on others. So I will go into detail on the options selected on this particular chair, as well as the actuators that we have as well. Other options selected on this chair, we have the REM200 joystick controller from Lynx or Dynamic. What's quite nice about this particular joystick or Lynx in general, which was introduced uh, to Invercare, I think almost four or five years ago now, if not a little bit longer. What's quite nice about this is the programming capabilities and how it's actually programmed. Rather than plugging into a laptop, it actually has a Bluetooth device that goes into the charge port, which we can link up to our phones or iPads or dealers or engineers can anyway. 
and tweak your individual preferences down to the percentage detail. So it's really, really capable and a nice tool to have, especially when you're on site with the clients. The other, other nice feature is the swing away joystick. So getting up to, getting up to tables or desks, etc., and or just putting it out of the way, it's quite a nice feature to have. We have long padded arm pads. Normally, as standard, they will come with quite a, a firm uh, foam and it'll be quite a fairly short arm pad. These are a T-bar arm pad and they have, they have depth, uh, width, and also height adjustment, as well as there is actually adjustment in the arm pad itself. So we can move it further forward or further back if need be. We have a shallow contour Laguna backrest. This is all fitted, all fitted with a Dartex material, which is still breathable, but it's a nice wipe down, uh, wipe, nice wipe down fabric. So it doesn't absorb anything. So for cleanliness and personal hygiene, it's really, really good. We also have the height, depth and angle adjustable headrest. It's got quite a large headrest and it's got um, the wings either side which can be tightened and adjusted according to the user preferences. We also have sideways adjustment on this as well to get it in the appropriate place for them. Moving down to the cushion itself, this cushion is a Matrix Libra. You have got a shallow contour, foam shallow contour with a slight pommel in the middle, but it also has a pelvic well. It's classed as a high risk pressure relieving cushion, but it's a fairly low, low profile, which is actually quite a nice feature. It's then uh, coupled with abductor pads or hip aligners. If we, an abduction basically means if the knees are splaying apart rather than coming in, that's abduction. So if we wanted to control that or to look after our pelvis or any sort of postural support, this can be really handy and there's a huge amount of adjustment in this as well, uh, both in angle, depth and height again. Um, and this is also, they're nicely padded uh, and also finished with a really nice material as well. Finally, this chair also has push handles at the rear. This is again quite a standard feature and most people actually opt to have them either cut down or opted without because what you'll find, especially with a mid-wheel drive chair, you'll find that these can stick out a bit too far and they can knock on walls or doors or anything like that. So these can be removed at the request but other, other users do prefer to have them, uh, especially if there was ever a situation where it had to be pushed or moved anywhere in free will, they can be quite handy. In summary then, I feel like this is a really nice example of the Invercare TDX. If you did require a full specification of the chair or further dimensions, please either leave a comment below or get in touch via the website which will be in the description. Also, just to note, this is a modular system, so if you feel that the chair might be a bit too small or a bit too large for you, there is some adjustment in there. So again, get in touch and inquire and we'll be able to shed a bit of light on that. Apart from that, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much.